Yesterday, we celebrated the new year by honoring Mary, the mother of God, Mary, the mother of new beginnings. It's a custom on New Year's Day to make resolutions, and many people resolve to themselves to be better in the next year. Maybe it's eating healthier, maybe it's exercising more, a lot of different New Year's resolutions. One of the ways experts on resolutions tell us to proceed is by inviting someone else into our resolution. The logic is that we are more likely to keep going to the gym in the new year, if that's our resolution, if we have a friend to come with us, if we have a friend to keep us accountable. When we go at it by ourselves, our resolutions often wither and fade. As Christians, all of us have the resolution to live closer to Christ, not just in this new year, but every single day. And the logic of carrying out our resolutions effectively in small matters applies also to this central mission of ours as Catholics. If we are to be successful in following Christ more faithfully this year and beyond, we need companions, we need friends to keep us accountable, to help us on our way. On this day after New Year's, the Church gives us a wonderful example of such a friendship. We're given the example of Saints Basil and Gregory, two close friends. Like many friends, they met in school, Athens in particular, and they became priests and were ultimately consecrated bishops together. And all their life long, they helped one another grow closer to Christ. They were there for one another in good times and bad. And like St. John the Baptist in our Gospel, they pointed out Jesus with and for one another. The challenge that we are offered today is the challenge of finding Christ-centered friends. Maybe you already have some. Maybe you have people in your life, cherished friends, that have enriched your faith. If you can't think of anyone like that, pray. Pray this day that in this new year the Lord will grant you such a friend. The love of friendship is one of the great gifts of our Christian faith. And when our friendships are Christ-centered, we grow in Christ. May this new year be an occasion for such growth for us. But may we never try it alone. May we walk with others, walk with friends who will lead us and help us to find Christ afresh in 2019.